Good morning, this is Paul, and thanks for checking out my silver dollar plant, which is better known as Xerocicios dangui. Now it's a more rare type of succulent, it's a very different structure, it's native to Madagascar. And what you can see here is first, it's in the cucumber family. And you can see here at the base of it, at the stem, it will kind of thicken up, which is pretty unique. And also the structure, very different compared to other succulents. That's why I like it. Now, you can see why they call it the silver dollar plant. It's usually grown as a house plant, but you could grow it outdoors like I do in zone 9B, Southern California, inland a bit. But this is why people like it, is its foliage. It's really stunning. It's kind of will change colors a bit. It will go kind of from green to blue, kind of grayish a little bit. I really like it a lot. Silvery may be a better word. And here's some younger leaves. So really beautiful plant. Now the problem here, as you can see, it's kind of just all ends right here. And that's because they grow back onto the wall and I either prune them back or they die back. So this, this needs something to support it, like a trellis. So I'm gonna go get something today. So it can kind of climb up some structure here and it will grow much taller. Now check out these flowers, look at the flowers. I've never seen this bloom. I've had it about four or five years now. And I can't wait to see these beautiful, tiny, delicate, greenish yellow flowers. Really, really amazing looking foliage and flowers. So I hope to see that soon. They say it will bloom in the spring, so maybe this spring, if I get lucky. So hopefully you can get one of these for your Probably, I would probably grow it in a pot, would probably be more ideal than in the soil here. But you can see it does fine. It will get a little bit of yellow and kind of go dormant, which is what is another unique feature about this plant. So it's kind of reminds me of an aeonium because it has a dormant time and that's when you don't want to overwater it or it's gonna rot. So these are actually pretty drought tolerant. Just don't give them too much sun. They do not like, they really need an afternoon shade, especially in our outdoor climate in Southern California, zone 9B. You can take it from cuttings easily. So you could cut it here, let it callus over, pluck off a few branches and just don't overwater it. So they do propagate like a traditional, like most succulents from a cutting. All right, what an interesting and unique plant. Thanks for watching and checking out our silver dollar plant, which is better known as Xerocicios. Dengue eye. All right. Have a great day.